JP Morgan was at the center of the Bernie Madoff fraud. This is according to Irving Picard. This is the trustee liquidating Madoff's firm. Picard is suing the bank for $6.4 billion. Bloomberg's Don Capecchi joins us now on the phone with more details. Don covers JP Morgan here for us at Bloomberg. Don, JP Morgan was willfully blind to the fraud even after learning about numerous red flags surrounding Madoff. This is some of the language coming from Picard's office. What does it mean for J.P. Morgan Chase if these statements are found to be true? Well, if the statements are true, it's, it's something that Picard would no doubt refer to um, U.S. and federal, uh, federal regulators, perhaps prosecutors. That's what people want to see in the Madoff case. They'd like to see more than just Bernie Madoff sitting in jail. Um, however, J.P. Morgan issued a really terse, really harsh statement yesterday, basically accusing Picard of grabbing headlines, saying that J.P. Morgan went to great extents to help him with his investigation, and um, saying that any suggestion that J.P. Morgan supported Madoff's fraud is utterly baseless and dem demonstrably false. All right, so that's been the reaction from J.P. Morgan, but there yeah. is a little bit of a precedent, at least as far as Picard successfully suing firms, right? Didn't he bring a suit against UBS? Yes, yes, he did. And, you know, I, I think he's looking to get as much money, um, whether through successful lawsuits or through settlements from these large banks. These large banks have deep pockets, and there aren't a lot of pockets left. Um, with the Madoff case. He's also suing people, um, people who were just regular investors who benefited from the Ponzi scheme. He's also trying to get their profits back. And so, you know, he's looking to recover as many funds as he can for the bankruptcy estate so he can distribute those to the, bank, the, the uh, victims of Bernie Madoff.